Welcome to this video on robotic gripper guys. In this video we will be designing two parts. One is this motor attachment and the second is pin that will be used in the gripper. So let's begin. So click on part and click OK. We are designing the motor attachment first. Make sure that you have selected MMGS as units that are millimeters. Then click on front plane and click on sketch and here select center rectangle. And then create a center rectangle at this origin like this. Now select Smart Dimensioning tool and specify the length of this side of rectangle as 26 millimeters and then specify the length of this line as 30 millimeters. After that go to features and select extruded boss base and here we have to specify the length of extrusion which is 15 millimeters and after that check this box. Now we have this box. Now select this face and click on sketch. And after that, we have to select the same center rectangle tool here and we need to create the rectangle on this origin like this. Okay, now we have to define the dimensions for this rectangle from this line to this line. Here I'm defining the distance as 3 millimeter and just define the length of this line as 60 millimeter. Okay, now go to features. And here we need to select extruded cut this time. We have to select here blind rather than through all. So select here blind and after that here specify 10 millimeters at the, as the depth of cut and check this box. Okay now select this face and click on sketch and rotate this part and make sure that this is the open side or if the open size side is the other one you have to create the same sketch on the other side. Now select a center line for reference I am making this uh, center line this has to be vertical so I am making a vertical relation and after that select midpoint line and create a straight horizontal midpoint line this has to be horizontal so I am assigning it horizontal relation and make it as construction geometry as well. Now uh, select a circle and create a circle like this. Now we have to assign the dimension for this line and a circle. So I'm assigning the length of this line as 4 millimeter. The length of this line which I'm specifying as 16. And finally the diameter for the circle is 4 millimeter. Now we need the same circle on the other side so I'm mirroring this circle. So I'm selecting mirror entities and mirror about this line and after that check this box and after that go to features and here select extruded cut okay now we have to select here through all so we can get the holes on the other side as well now rotate it and select this face and click on sketch we have to make a circle on this origin so make a circle up to this line go to features and select extruded boss base so 10 millimeter the length of extrusion is good check this box now select this face and click on sketch again we have to cut a hole for the shaft insertion for the motor so i'm making this hole here we need to define the diameter for this hole which i'm defining as 8 millimeter go to features select extruded cut and this should be through all and after that check this box from here Okay, now we have to make some fillets. So select fillet tool and select these edges. This internal edge, this internal edge and fillet radius is 1 millimeter. You can select these edges and after that check this box. Okay, now we have to define some appearance by, by the way this is an optional step. In metal I am specifying this polished brass. And we have to just save this file as motor attachment. So type here motor attachment and click on save. Now cross this window and click on file, click new and click on part then click OK because we are working in a part file. We are going to make a pin. Make sure that you have selected MMGS as units. Now click on top lane and click on sketch. 
click on circle and create a circle at this origin like this and now we have to define the diameter for this circle which I am defining as 4 millimeter and now we have to go to features and select extruded boss base so the cylindrical height is 20 millimeter although we can change it later so let's make it as 20 millimeter and check this box now we have to make the sketch on this plane that basically cut this part in half like this this can be right plane as well it can be any plane which basically cut this part in half like this and now uh, select a line and on this from the center point here create the horizontal and a vertical line and then select three point arc from this point to this point make a three point arc like this now simply select a line make a horizontal line and then this vertical line okay press escape button select this line make relation vertical then select this line make relation horizontal okay now we have to assign dimension for that select smart dimension tool and here we have to specify the length of this horizontal line as 3.8 now press escape button and make it correct just click and drag it so that it can be in right orientation right position here we need to specify the length of this vertical line which i am specifying as 0.38 then the radius of this arc which is 4.32 and finally we are left with two lines this horizontal line this is 1.9 and finally this vertical line 2.2 the sketch is fully defined now go to features and select uh, this revolve boss base here make sure that you are selecting the correct line this vertical line should be selected and check this box from here okay and now uh, select on this top uh, top lane and click on sketch we are going to make a cut for the allen key so select polygon and here make sure that you have selected six as parameter and check this box and make a hexagon here press escape button now select this line and make relation horizontal okay now we have to specify the length from this point to this line to this line as 2.5 millimeter so that a 2.5 millimeter allen key can be used to open and close this pin now select extruded cut and here we have to select blind and here we need to define the depth which i'm defining as 2 millimeter and check this box so we are pretty much done just we have to uh, make some fillets so select this edge and this edge and here we need to define the radius which is one millimeter and check this box from here now we have to save this part as pin so go to file click on save it and save it as pin so that's all for this video guys see you in the next video